Leaving the inaugural ceremony at the Supreme Court this afternoon, I'm reminded very clearly of why I'm so thankful to live in this extraordinary country. It represents those who have fought to keep the story of America, our story of America, very sacred. So as we come together to welcome 13 new members into this special Horatio Alger family, we feel a sense of pride in their personal stories as we reconnect with our own. Bless this meal and bless those who are gathered here tonight, especially the individuals we recognize this evening. I wouldn't be where I am today without the support I have received from the Horatio Alger Association. So many wonderful, wonderful kids in this organization who had decided that no adversity was going to stop them from succeeding, and I can't salute their courage enough. Let's take a quick look at the legacy of my mentor my very dear friend, Dick Knowlton. The progress we've made has been wonderful, and it could not have happened without all of you. I predict great and future success for all of us in Horatio Alger, but more importantly, for the young people of America. This weekend is an important and memorable weekend for this association. I can't tell you how excited and how proud we are to have reached this momentous occasion. It was always our dream that one of our scholars would become a Horatio Elger member. And we are right at this day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor to welcome to the stage Colonel Vince Cryer. Listening to stories of others, I learned that adversity and the circumstances that surround adversity have no power to define us. But rather, it's through our chosen responses to those trials that determines who we are. Throughout many years, I've learned with a great deal of practice to be an optimist by choice. To the scholars here tonight, I challenge you to do the same. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 Horatio Alger Award recipients. This year we raised over $13 million, which is our second highest ever that we've raised in this association. And we will actually distribute $21 million in 2019 for scholarships. And that is an all-time record for sure. So thank you all very much for your support. Each of the members in this room today are here to listen, provide guidance, based on lessons from challenges that we've faced in our own lives. I challenge all of the bright scholars in this room to take every opportunity in the coming days, and especially at this breakfast, to introduce yourself to the adults around you. A simple introduction just might spark a lifelong connection and open the door to opportunities you never dreamed of. However you choose to define success, let it be on your own terms. If you do that, you're bound to achieve great things. Horatio Alger is about relationships. And you've heard last night how some of these relationships have gone on not only for years, not only for decades, but in fact for generations. 
do not look at these ladies and gentlemen merely as successful human beings. That's a given. Each of them, as we'll find out this morning, discovered that the journey from success to significance, important as it is, is not enough. That ultimately, it's about impact. I want to ask you if you believe you must seek out mentors in order to achieve your success. We spoke a lot about believing, you know, looking out for others that believe in us. But I think there's a much more important issue. We have to work at believing in ourselves. Finding your own core power has got to be a critical part of your journey. Since our founding in 2009, We've awarded nearly $5.1 million to 866 students in Canada, across Canada. And thanks to the generosity of not only our Canadian members, life partners and friends, but also, very significantly, our American counterparts. One of the most meaningful ways that members, life partners, and even friends of the association can support scholars is by offering opportunities so scholars can pursue interests outside the walls of the classroom. After becoming national scholars, Alex and I already knew that the association was giving us so much. What we didn't realize was that it would keep on giving. The association has supported us financially, but more importantly, it has supported our goals and our dreams. Give it up, everybody, for Adam and Alex. I think ultimately, I see myself coming back and taking care of my community from you know, the position of you know, an entrepreneur, uh, you know, a CEO, and <laughs> there's so much of that in this room. <laughs> so um, I really took away the love that everybody has to give and share this in this association, and it just really made me feel a part of it in the best way that I could. I knew my worth came from within and from doing the right things in my life and nurturing that love and happiness that I had found within myself through you guys. So this is news to you, but I got accepted into my number one school, Stanford. No! So. to the 72nd annual Horatio Alger ceremony at DAR Constitution Hall. We're here tonight to celebrate the outstanding achievements of the newest class of Horatio Alger members. It takes two things to be successful. You need to be sure you get all the formal education you can. It'll open doors. Then you gotta work harder than just about anybody else on earth. May we in the United States never take our freedoms for granted. Thank you so much. I hope you never hear those mountains in the distance and never settle for the past. For each of these new members, they're determined to become the best version of themselves. And as they rise to achieve their fullest potential, they lift others along the way. Ambition has played a defining role in their lives. Horatio Alger Scholars represent the next generation of great Americans.
They represent hopes as we envision the impact that they will one day have on our nation. The members of the Horatio Alger Association have overcome adversity to achieve excellence. And perhaps most importantly, they continue to pay it forward.